Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of expressions and how we can simplify expressions or make equivalent expressions with the commutative property and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. Now the commutative property is sometimes known as the order property. And what it tells us is that when we are add, adding or when we are multiplying you can add the add-ins or multiply the factors in any order and it will not change. So let's take a look at something simple like 3 plus 5. Well 3 plus 5 we know equals 8 but if you were to use the commutative property and change the order of our add-ins you would get 5 plus 3 and that would still equal 8. The same thing works with multiplication. Let's keep the same digits, but let's just change the operation. Let's do 3 times 5. So our two factors are 3 and 5. That's going to make a product of 15. If we change the order of the factors, and we do 5 times 3, that is still going to be 15. Now, the commutative property only works with addition and multiplication. Let's look to see why it doesn't work with subtraction. So when we're looking at subtraction here, let's look at something like 10 minus 6. So 10 minus 6, that is going to make a difference of 4. But if you flip those two digits there, those two numbers, and you get 6 minus 10, well, that's going to get you a different answer. It's going to be negative 4. So you cannot use the commutative property with subtraction, nor can you use it with division. So let's see what we have here with uh, something simple like 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is going to be 5, but if you get 2 divided by 10, because you change the order right there, then you're going to get 2 tenths, which is going to be 1 fifth or 0 0.2, something completely different. So the commutative property only works with addition and multiplication. Let's look at some expressions. So here's an expression, 18 divided by parentheses x plus 2. If we wanted to create an equivalent expression using the commutative property, well, we have two choices of operations we can look at here. We have a division and we have an addition. But remember, we just said that commutative property only works with addition or multiplication. So let's see what happens when we change the order of the x and the 2. So if we were to do this, 18 divided by, and then I'm just going to simply flip the order here of these two terms here, it's going to be 2 plus x. And that is going to be an equivalent expression. How do we know? Well, let's test it out by replacing x with something. And let's just say x is going to be something that's going to be easy for us to use. Let's say x equals 4. So if we say x equals 4, then we're going to have 4 plus 2 over here, and that is going to simplify down to 6. So 18 divided by 6, that's going to equal 3. If we do the same thing over here, 18 divided by, now we have 2 plus 4. You notice that changing the add ins doesn't really change the sum, and so it's going to be 18 divided by 6, and that's still going to equal 3. Let's look at another example. We have a new expression to look at, 12 minus 3 times y. Once again, we have two different operations we can look at, our subtraction and our multiplication. Remember, commutative property only works with addition or multiplication. So let's look at these two terms here. These are two factors that we're multiplying by each other, 3 and y. So if we want to create an equivalent expression using the commutative property, we could simply flip the order. We're going to keep 12 minus, but we're going to do y times 3. Now, once again, let's just use something simple to substitute y4 to see whether we're true or not. Let's just make y equals 1. That's going to be pretty simple. So 12 minus 3 times 1. Well, 3 times 1 is 3, so really it's just 12 minus 3. That makes 9. And then we have here 12 minus 1 times 3. 1 times 3, that's going to make 3, so it's 12 minus 3, and that is going to equal 9. So we can use the commutative property to generate equivalent expressions when we change the order of terms connected by addition or multiplication. 